Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Thank you so much for being here. Um, this is a great pleasure today. I'm going to do a marathon from Michelle Michelle. And uh, if you can see, uh, let me see this right here. Oh my God, I can't do this. Uh, all right, here, because I can't see him in the camera, but it's very small. So I'm going to do a, a track from that album. I, I love Gianluca Ponti. And I will really, will really try to uh, possibly, like, if he's available, you know, interview him. I don't know how we're going to make it happen, but I would love to get this man on the show and just ask him to death. Uh, no, <laughs> not to death. But just, you know, just the, like the interview that you saw with Adnan, just like that, you know, just a story, like how... It, I don't know, you know, it would be so wonderful, but uh, let's let's see if we can we can get him. Okay, so Michelle, thank you so much for your for for your marathon uh, selection. I'm gonna um, uh, talk about the track. So we're gonna do one by Flora Purim. Let me see, is that correct? Flora Purim. Okay. Flora Purim. I thought I, because I don't have my glasses. And then this is called Open Your Eyes. Can you fly? This is from the self. This is from the same album. Open Your Eyes. Can you fly? This is 1976. Then we're going to do Jean-Luc Ponty from Enigmatic Ocean. This is from 77. We're going to do the track Nostalgic Lady. Now I've heard some tracks on this. And there's some Alan Holdsworth on this, but I don't know if I've heard all the the entire album, and I don't know if there's Holdsworth. I'll 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 hear it out if, if he's on this. And then we're gonna do some Bruce uh, Springsteen, um, New York City Serenade. This is from The Wild, The Innocent, and The E Street Shuffle. So we have done a track uh, for her um, from this album. I think it was. I don't remember. I think it was the 4th of July. I don't remember, but I would have to look it up. But we've definitely, I've never seen this cover before. All right. So everybody, thank you so much for joining. If this is your first time here on the channel, please like and subscribe. It does help out the channel a lot. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give me a thumbs down. It's all good, you know. Um, also, if you would like to request a song or a marathon, you can do so in the buy me a coffee link. And, um, you know, you can do that either when Alexia and I open up our requests that we do together or me solo, whatever you'd like, whatever you prefer. Okay. So, um, well, you know, I'm just going to check one thing because there's other songs and I just want to see if they're not part of Michelle's marathon. I want to get this right on the first try because yesterday was super funny um, because I did a marathon. Well, I did a song for Rudy, but since the title was, I got a little bit confused because there's so much music on here. So let's see. I want to see her list. Marathon. Nope. I'm right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Okay, yeah, that's exactly the one she wanted. Okay, so let's proceed. I can't wait. I can't wait for this. Um, thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you for all your support. Thanks to everybody who's listening in. We're going to have a great time. And uh, here we go. Flora Purim. <laughs>
Man, what a great tune. So I had two things. Two things. Um, oh, man. I have to come up with something with this microphone because I always have to kind of like, I wish it was just one setting and I could just leave it. But with the music, I guess I can't really talk over it. I, I, I guess I shouldn't talk over the music at all. So when I heard the bass line, I was like, okay, this is, in my mind, of course, it's Jaco Pastorius, but it's not. I looked it up and it's Alfonso Johnson. Alphonse, I, maybe. Um, let's see here. I just, Alfonso Johnson. Okay. Wow. A weather report. Okay. So same band as Jacko. And then I was like, when the keyboard was, was going on, I was like, this is Chick Corea. Like, this is his style. And it's not Chick Corea, but it's composed by Chick Corea. So there you go. So the music is composed by Chick Corea. Open your eyes. You can fly. Oh, man. May you rest in peace. What a musician. Um, but no, the, the, the keyboards... Uh, were played by George Duke, which I don't know. Uh, George Duke. Um, music director, writer, and co-writer, record producer, and professor of music. Aha! Uh -huh. He first made his name for himself with Gianluca Ponti, which we're going to next. Okay, so you see, now, sometimes it is nice to look up stuff. Um... Uh, usually we don't do it. Um, Alexa and I, we just want to go into completely blindly. But sometimes when I hear something that sounds very similar, then I'm, I get too curious and I do want to check. Okay, so here is the amazing Jean-Luc Ponty, um, who has played with Alan Holdsworth, with Aldi Meola, with Paco de Lucia, with, all the, with, with Frank Zappa, just an amazing musician, just a legend, living legend. And I, I hope um, to have him on the show if he, if he could only make it, even if I can only talk to him for 10 minutes, you know. So let, here we go with The Nostalgic Lady by Jean-Luc Ponty. Let's see if I've heard this before. Let's 
Beautiful. <laughs> Man, <laughs> thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I've, uh, I guess I missed that one. Or maybe I've heard it before. I don't remember. But it's so crazy. Um, let me turn this down. Um, it's like almost like as soon as he touches the string and he plays one note, I recognize just the touch ju and and Im immediately ob obviously starts to play his lines. And I was like, OK, um, it doesn't sound like he sounded like in the 80s and 90s. When is this from? Just to hear it. Alan Holtzwell in 77 is insane. And he didn't even like his playing. It's so crazy that he was like, there's this interview on YouTube and he's like, well, I'm just getting started. Like, <laughs> and they were like, like, um, well, Mr. Holtzworth, you know, like there's a lot of people who call you like the best guitar player on the planet. And he's like, uh, that's a misconception. And I don't, I, all that should end and I feel I'm just getting started and wow he was already like on the top of the mountain and he didn't even realize he was such a humble man I'm gonna miss him to death every day um so that was great thank you so much Michelle and what a great composition Jean-Luc Ponte here beautiful just wonderfully played and then it's just a, it was just a beautiful, I didn't want to interrupt. And then Alan Holdsworth, just like to top it off, you know, uh, but just the way he came in with that legato, uh, it's just unparalleled, I guess. You can't replicate this. So, okay. Now we're done <laughs> with Holdsworth. I get too riled up. Um, so funny. I should do like a Holtzworth marathon, um, which nobody's going to watch. Uh, <laughs> it's so sad. Um, I really feel that this man should get the praise that other guitar players um, got. Uh, she should get the, the re recognition. But the problem with Holtzworth is, and everybody knows this, he's just too out there. And I remember the first time when I listened to him, I was like, what the hell is this? And, but it was also the wrong song. It was called Prelude. And I was very much into the whole, you know, neoclassical uh, shredder thing. So I said, oh, Prelude, this sounds like classical music. And Alan Holtzberg, I've heard that he's so good. And then it was something that was completely, it was just a prelude to a song which is, um, and he basically just plays some lines with this really weird distortion. And I was like, this is horrible. And I never looked back for a couple of years. And then thank God I discovered him again on my own account. Um, and I never looked back and I was just obsessed. But well, you already know the story. So now we're going to go to Bruce Springsteen, New York Serenade from the year... 73. All right. Thank you, Michelle. This is going to be a lot of fun. I love Bruce Springsteen and uh, it's just very joyful musician and like a folk uh, icon. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Let's go.
that him playing that it's insane if that's him oh man what a touch so subtle trying to do to me oh boy okay so yeah good <laughs> i'm it's humbling it's humbling it's beautiful it's just um well there you see how much talent this man has and the musicianship he surrounds himself with is just insane um, but I love, I loved all this and I got a little bit emotional because I guess the way, that's the way that happens to my body. Um, but I love that they switched to this happy part now because I can stop, um, 
sobbing into myself by my <laughs> phone. Thank you so much, Michelle. But yeah, the, um, the crime machine was activated. Um, The water. It's so beautiful. I mean, just the way that started that amazing piano um, introduction, followed by that beautiful, like, pinch harmonics and the bends and oh man and then he starts to sing <sighs> boy okay all right so let's keep going this is wonderful thank you so much it's a beautiful song i can't wait to show it to alexa i wish she was here i wish i could fix her back yeah um okay let's keep let's keep going i'm uh, so happy it's <laughs> <laughs> the sad part is over with the song. Let's go into the happy section. But I know that she won't touch the train. No, she won't take 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 the train. She's afraid the tracks are gonna slow her down. And when she turns. This boy will be gone so long. Some uh, it didn't, didn't last very long, man. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Hey, boss, man, hey, jazz, man.
Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Like, um, literally, the song is, um, it, it, it feels like a whole score. Um, it could be a score to a movie. Easily. Um, the amount of, like, instruments and things happening. I mean, the whole orchestra in the back. I don't know if it was an orchestra or just like a quartet, but it was a lot of strings. And then the violins, the sax was beautifully arranged there. Just playing subtly, not really like soloing, but just in between the notes, you know, between the lines. And Bruce Springsteen, what a national treasure. You know, I mean, just the way he's just like whispering some words and the way he's singing. Very heartfelt, very real, um, great, amazing artist that I've not heard enough, I must admit. Um, basically, through Michelle Michelle, uh, we've heard him. But I've never really like taken that leap into the rabbit hole, you know. It's also like when you do reaction videos, it's like you have so much music that you listen to that some things get lost and you don't really remember sometimes. Um, so when I look at videos, sometimes I'm like, wow, we did this. Like, I mean, and then I do remember the day, but I don't really remember the music because it's just once. So, yeah, this was beautiful. Thank you so much. The whole marathon was just amazingly picked handpicked by michelle and she's so nice uh she always picks stuff that she knows people are gonna like also not just her but everybody and ourselves so she's very considerate about that i love that um that's so nice and um wow it was just beautiful every song has something very special um, just like Flora, I, I've never heard of her and she was just amazing. And the bass player and the keyboardist and just outstandingly great. And then Gianluca Ponti, that was a surprise. I mean, I have the album right there and I, I think I have it on CD as well. And then we have it on Spotify, but you just don't go through everything every day, you know? So, and I hear, listen to Holdsworth and I hear to this masterpiece at the end. So this was great. Thank you so much. Uh, I can't thank you enough. This is so nice to sit down and leave with an experience that you're going to think about later in the day. You know, like I'm going to play this to Alexia, of course, and I want to see her reaction. Um, yeah. The bad thing is I can't run around with a camera, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, I do have a camera on my phone, but I mean... Some things have to also be private, you know? So she does a lot of reactions as much as she can. And I do kind of like sometimes, like, tr I don't push her, but I try to like, you know, you know, like, hey, why don't you stretch a little bit and then we make a video, you know? <laughs> it's like, because when she stretch stretches, that's her only relief. But she's she's literally Alexa's like always in pain. She has learned to live with pain. Pain is always there. It won't go away. And when she sits, it's like this all this pressure builds up after a couple of minutes. So basically, when we watch a movie, she has to like or be in a very comfortable laying position. But sitting is just a nightmare. And when we were working from home. Uh, the way she was sitting was always like stretched or very like because we could do it we can't sit like this we i mean we're not working like this you know we could like slouch or whatever um or just like you know have the legs spread and then just work so yeah so that was but you can't do that in a video <laughs> she can't have her legs all over the place you know and stretch and do this if she could do that in the video and, but it would look too weird. It would be like, what's wrong with her? You know? So, yeah. But thank you so much, Michelle, for this. This was wonderful. I hope everybody enjoyed, um, as much as I did. Let me know what you think, which was your favorite track. Um, what would you like to hear more? I'm sure you all, you're going to, all you guys are going to say, Bruce, uh, Bruce, 
and we want to we want more brews and um maybe we could do like a brews marathon or something it's all about the time but uh, we'll see thank you so much everyone you know for being here this was a lot of fun thank you michelle for your support for your love that you give us and all everybody in the channel all your comments are super sweet and uh thank you um and i'll see you in the next one take care guys Bye.